What is going on, everybody? It is John Michaelich at Lands of Vision Studios, where we make games that we want to play. If you haven't checked them out yet, they're on the iPhone and the iPad in the App Store. Go download them, because our games are awesome. Uh, also, it's coming soon to the Droid, so maybe by this time it's going to be available on Google Play. And if you're bored, go to Facebook. Go to Lands Vision on Facebook and say hi. Anyway, that is enough plugging for today. Let's get to business. Today we're going to be setting up Cocos 2DX version 3.2 to run on Eclipse for the Android. I mean, it's designed to run congruently, so you can go and run it on Xcode and then change everything for the iPhone iPad, and then it converts very easily to the Droid, and you just have to set up some environmental stuff. Now, this tutorial is designed for all the people that have all the pitfalls that I did, because there's really not that much detailed documentation. So I had to spend days combing the internet and trying to solve all these subtle problems. So that's why this is here, and if this helps anybody, I hope so. Now, if you don't have anything, you can go to this website, I'm going to put it on there, and they'll walk you through the basics. Because if you don't have the bad luck that I did, you can just go through it one time, and it's easy. Everything sets up, everything works. But if you do have what I did, it's a little more of a problem. Okay. First, you get 2DX, download the newest version. Like I said, I'm doing this at the time when version 3.2 is the big thing. Then you want JDK, SDK, and NDK. So go and check your Java version, depending on what it is. Download the new Java development kit tools. Then you want to go get the Android SDK. That's downloading the whole folder. It's going to look like this. It's a whole bundle. And then you're going to go into Eclipse, and you're going to want to load up the SDK Manager. I just installed a ton of crap. I got all the build tools. I just got everything that I could get my hands on. It didn't matter what revision. It didn't matter, you know, what version. I didn't care. Um, you're definitely going to need, I think, version 14 and version 10 and I think version 7. Because um, for some reason, Cocos 2D, it extends all over them. I didn't get the API 20L preview. I don't even know what the hell that means. Anyway, so, so do that. One thing that you want to do is you want to make sure to install so I'm sorry I went a little bit fast there and it's going to be up in your help and before it was in window I didn't include my recording window high enough that was in window and then that's Android SDK manager the next one's in help to the right of that and you go to install new software what you're going to do is go down to whatever version of Eclipse you are and mine is Juno and I already installed it but what it's going to be is all the C++ it's going to be like the C++ development tools, C++ tools, programming tools I think, programming languages, there it is and then in here see there you go it's the C++ development kit, toolkits and all that sort of stuff that's what you need so you want to download that and throw that in there if for some reason that didn't work, didn't work on me the first time I deleted Eclipse, I got everything out of there and then I did it all over again and then it worked fine the next time okay there you go now the problem is, is with the NDK. Where the hell is the link? NDK, it doesn't matter. Oh, NDK, you download the link. The problem is, when we were writing this, the latest version is RD, or R9D. The problem is, is that RD10, or the version 10 that is available now, has a bug, and it crashes everything. So you need to... Um... Where did I put it? I'll include a link in the bottom of it. I thought I had it here. No, I don't. Uh, I'll include a link in the bottom of it where you can find and you can download NDK R9D. And it's a whole thing. Like, they list out they list out the version for Windows and list out the version for Mac and all that sort of stuff. Okay? So then you want to do that instead, obviously. You have your Coco Studio, your ADT bundle, your NDK, and you've gone through, you've gone through this nonsense of making sure your Python is set up, and if it's not, then you install it. If you don't have brew, then you need brew, then you install that. If you don't have ant, then you get that. There you go, okay. <laughs> I glossed over those things, but it's all, you just need to install them. All right, so now what you want to do is load up terminal. Then do cd space and drag in your Cocos 2D folder. Because now what we need to do is to set up Cocos 2D. So right now we're working in Python. I mean, I'm working with Bash, but... Um, but Python is installed, and that's how you run it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll do this. That's how you run it because, um, where is it? It's setup.py. It's no longer a script how it was in the 2.x versions. So then you just type in Python setup.py, and all mine are already set up. 
But what it's going to do is it's going to stop for you on NDK root. And then you're going to go over here, drag this guy in, drop him in, and then make sure to take out the space at the end. Press enter. It'll save it in. And then you do the same for the ATP bundle, the SDK. You'll go in there, the SDK. You'll drag it in. Remember to take out the space at the end of the uh, of the the path. And then uh, and then you'll do the same thing for the ant root if it doesn't already have it. It should find it if you go and you install it correctly. It'll just be in there. Okay. And then what you have to do is source users pro dot badge profile. What that does is it makes it so. It acknowledges your changes. If you want to get in there, if you have an issue and you want to go in and actually look at it, then what you can do is just do that. You can do touch. Batch profile, and then you do open. I'll just freaking type the whole damn thing out. I sometimes went in and I had a Heck of a time getting it to acknowledge my NDK root. Heck of a time. Oh my gosh, it was a mess. So I had to go in and delete all this and redo it, and I went in manually and I wrote it in and stuff like that, so I used this a lot. Okay? All right, so now you set up your environmental variables, and then you wrote in, you sourced it in, source batch profile, and now what we want to do is, I'm not going to do these test things. Um, you can if you want to if you're doing this, but I'm not going to. Now we want to create a new project. So what you're going to do it's just use that line. Cocos, new, my game is a game name, obviously. Dash P is, I don't remember what dash P, oh, it's right down here. Dash P is the package name, and then dash L is the programming language, and then the directory. So you just write all that out, and what it's going to do is just going to go and put up this little stuff there, and it'll go up. It'll be fine. And then what you want to do is go to the directory. So apps, uh, my newest one is new. So go there, and then just drag out the Android. And then what you're going to do is go in there and you have your build native PY. So what you would do, and this takes like five minutes. I'm, I, it takes five minutes on my computer. So I don't, I'm not going to run through it all right now because they just sit there and build everything. But what that does is it builds up all of these files that, um, all these files that it needs, uh, that Eclipse needs. And it's a ton of them. It's, it's a lot of them. If you, end up having issues with build native, then you can just open it up and then alter whatever you need to. Because I think there is an issue in here that I dealt with. A lot of the NDK stuff. No, I think that was it. At one point I had to go in and I had to like, it was not finding my NDK root, so I had to go and manually put it in. So there is that option for you if it just will not find your NDK root. Okay? Now, here we are. Now I imported it into Eclipse. And I'm just going to go through it again. Eat. Oh, I'm not going to. It'll take time. Okay, but all you have to do is you go to f new, you go to file, new, and then project. And then you bring it down, Android, Android project from 16 code, next. And then you're going to browse, and it's going to be over here. It'll be your new. Okie dokie. You go to new and then project Android. I'm sorry, I should take it all the way through. And then only include that. Now, a problem that I had, oops, problem that I had is you need all of these, uh, of these, particularly the libcocos2dx. And you bring it in through what's called a jar file, which is loaded into your project of new, but it wasn't registering. It was not registering, and I was having a bunch of problems with it. So what I ended up doing is I, I ended up importing all of the source files from Cocos 2D. So I just went to the whoops, I went to the Cocos 2D folder. And then I just opened all that stuff up and I included everything. And there were some that you that came in there, like the Luau ones and stuff like that, and the CPP tests that I didn't need and I deleted them. But I just uploaded all of those. So it starts off where I automatically have an error because it doesn't it doesn't have an import. So then what you do is you go over, you do a right click on the new, you go down to properties, and right there, remove it because it's looking for something else. And instead, I'm going to add the libcocos2dx, which is right there. Very good. Apply. Boom. And now they're gone. So now I have another error, another little weird thing that Kazmat is not is not in um, is not recognized. So I went and I found the Kazmat directory. 
um, I just like searched for it and I found it so then because of that I just imported in there where is it looking for new Cocos 2D Cocos Math and I'll go and I'll put on there a project that I got it from uh, it's a rapid game it's another tutorial that, that's out there and I'll put that link on here where am I Cocos and then Math and then Kazmath is in there okay so now that's gone um, okay, I guess that's it. There, I've had problems before with this null. It doesn't like the null. It gives it a warning, but now it's not there. If you do get that, then that would just be char star. And then that would get rid of that. Oh, gosh, what are the other ones? Yeah, missing sentinel, missing sentinel and function call. That's the char star null. If you get a missing sentinel and function call, then that means you, you need to go and to do what I just did. Because uh, it was there. It was there a second ago. There's that one. Another one, Java Lang error. So this is your .c project file. You have two or more CC configurations. So what you'd want to do, if you get this, if you get a bunch of Java Lang errors, and I had a ton, then what you have to do is go to, is this, am I in my project? You want to go into your Android project folder. And then you want to open that. Open .c project. Does it have an extension? Nope, that's it. And I just went and I would do cc configuration, copy find, and I've got four. So I have two. And the duplicates was, cause, was causing issues, so I needed to delete the second one or it was going to cause a bunch of problems because what would happen is that I would import what would happen is I would import the project into, into Eclipse and it would work and then I would close Eclipse and load it back up and everything would just go nuts get a lot of Java Lang errors I would go in and I wouldn't even be up being able to open my Hello World CPP class it would have all of this Java Lang errors and this long, 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 long nonsense so that was why I ended up doing that. It, it looked like this. This is exactly what it looked like, all that. Because it just couldn't find it. It could not find the environmental file, and, and that's because it was overdefining it. Library.apk, if you keep having an issue with cannot find the library APK, then you have to go in. So up here in Eclipse, the Eclipse heading, Preferences, you want to go in here to Android Bill, no, NDK, that's where it is. It just needs to be respecified where your NDK is. What a, it's just it's a pain in the butt. And then if you have it even more, I think I did it for this ridiculously named project called Butter. Um, I put it in build variables, NDK root string. Put it in there. I put it in the environment. I put it everywhere because it was just having the hardest time acknowledging where my NDK root was. It was just, it was stupid. So there's that. That's a big thing that if you have that issue with the NDK root, with if you keep having that issue with the Java um, Lang errors with the, yeah, I think that's what it is. And then, I don't know why this is here. Okay. So that, I think that's pretty much it um, of those issues. And yeah. And then from that, then you'd be able to go and and build it all and run it and stuff like that. Wait, I'm, I'm still on butter. Um, and you'd be able to exit and go back in. I had I had a heck of a time. So, so that is, this kind of fell off by the end. Uh, I apologize. I try and make my tutorials as succinct as possible. But I hope this helps some other people because, um, because a lot of these, a lot of, and I don't even pay attention to any of these warnings, whatever. But, um, but yeah. There, there you go, guys. <laughs> okay, bye.